Food, glorious food. Something that we all love and can't live without. Our world loves food. So much that food production will need to rise by 70% as our world population is expected to hit a massive 9.1 billion by the year 2050. So how do we cope with many mouths to feed, so little time and so little fertile land? Well, to keep food production going and to maintain healthy crops, farmers rely on fertilizers. So what is the secret ingredient behind fertilizers? Ammonia, a simple compound made up of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. To keep up with global demands, ammonia needs to be produced in enormous amounts. Such can only be achieved through the Haber-Bosch process. The Haber-Bosch process was developed in the early 1900s for the production of ammonia. Through this ingenious invention, over 450 million tons of fertilizer is produced annually. It is estimated that 40% of the world is being fed through it. In fact, 50% of the nitrogen content in your body comes from the Haber-Bosch process. Interesting, isn't it? So how does it work? This process involves combining pure hydrogen and nitrogen gas directly over promoted iron catalyst at a temperature of 400 degrees using pressures of 100 to 200 atmosphere. All this in order to produce the amazing ammonia used to make fertilizers to grow food. Unfortunately, there are prominent disadvantages to this industrial technology. This process alone consumes 3% of the world's energy and contributes to global warming by releasing 1.6% of man-made carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. This process requires high amounts of temperature and pressure. And finally, the invaluable iron catalyst, whose job is to enhance and speed the reaction, can easily be poisoned. Therefore, although it is a mature technology, there is still room for development. This is where my world-changing PhD comes in. My PhD is in chemistry, majoring in catalysis. My job is to use affordable materials to make a catalyst that cannot be poisoned and is able to produce ammonia in a clean way using less harsh reaction conditions and less energy. The Haber-Bosch process uses iron catalysts. I make and use supported molybdenum nitride catalysts. I'm in the second year of my PhD and I have made ammonia using my catalysts, mimicking the Haber-Bosch process but at a small scale using lenient and clean conditions. I'm yet to test my captives on a larger scale to see where it stands in producing ammonia in order to feed the world. Thank you.